Greetings of the day and welcome to Prof. Neil once again. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Inspiring the generosity of Mahabali, even to his foe. And that is what we're talking about today. Mahabali was an Asura. Now, Asuras are generally believed to be wicked, evil, and uh, who abduct women, who, who fight with the gods, who try to upstage them from the heavens and the earth and all the possible places. But, uh, but, but why is then Mahabali revered in Kerala? Ornam is celebrated for Mahabali. And that's the story we're discussing today about how inspiring is the story of Mahabali, even in being generous to his foe. Tomorrow is Saturday, 21st of August 2021. Thiru Onam, the 10th day of the traditional 10 day Onam festival, the grand finale. Thiru is Tam uh, Sri in Tamil and Malayalam. Why do Malay? Why, why is uh, Asura the only uh, state in Kerala, in India, which is celebrating or welcoming an Asura? and not worshipping the Narayana, the Vishnu, who outrooted him. Let's get into the story. It's a beautiful story. Now, Onam, if you, if you are, as you all know, 10 day festival, from the first day, uh, Kerlites start, and there's a story that every Kerlite learns from the la on the lap of the elders from a tender age. And then he experiences the Onam festival. Activities, he soon gets it into his Zahen, as you say in Urdu, or in his genes, the story of Onam. And they learn to differentiate between the Mahabali, between the Mahabalis and the Devdas. And why Mahabali is integrated. And so the, from the first year of Onam, the front, the, the first of all, the house is totally cleaned, thoroughly, spring cleaning is done. And from the first day, small floral patterns called Poo Kolam. Poo Karam is being is, is starts appearing on the courtyard of the front courtyard of the Kerlite household across the world, and every day slowly a new design appears and a bigger and each day it grows bigger in circumstance and a design and different design. Likewise, on the tenth day is the grand finale, and in all these days the house is cleaned up, as I said earlier, spring cleaning, and the tenth day is the grand finale. That's tomorrow this year on Saturday. Who is Mahabali? And why is such an Asura revered? The story is that, before that we get, we, we get into that, we have to know why Kerala is known as God's own country. Kerala is God's own country because three avatars of Vishnu have blessed this land. First, Parshurama, the sixth avatar of Vishnu. The hostile, the combative of the way Parshurama with the battle axe, who would not think of doing battle any, with anybody any, any, at any time. Once he, he asked the cease to part, he never requested anything, by the way. So the cease didn't part. So he hurled his battle axe and the cease had to part ways. He reclaimed land from the seas. Probably the first history of land being reclaimed from the seas in mankind's history. Manhattan and Bombay come, came much, much later, light years later. The sixth, and if you notice Kela's map, the Kela's on the map, it's like a sliver of land as it's been cut by an axe, a surgical cut. The seventh avatar of Vishnu, Sri Ram, who on his way to find his wife, who's been abducted by Ravana, Sita, of course, as you know her, came to Kerala in the Pampa forest. He meets Sugriva and uh, Hanuman. He starts at left hand and said. The fifth avatara is what we are going to talk about today. Vamana, the dwarf, Brahman dwarf. Now, Mahabali was a ruler of, undisputed ruler of the three worlds. The heavens, the earth and the nether worlds. He was an Asura. Invincible in, in uh, war. Despite being Asura, he was loved and admired by his subjects because he was benevolent. He was a very good-natured Asura, not of the same stock of Ravana and so on. And the gods were totally upstaged. 
from everywhere. So Indra went to Vishnu and asked him for a solution. In, in Vishnu knew he could not defeat Mahabali. He could only outwit him. Now Mahabali had this characteristic habit of practice of on every day at a particular time he would gift things away to Brahmins, which was a tradition then of kings to gift away things to Brahmins. So one day when he was at this, at this practice, he saw a young dwarf, dwarf of a Brahmin approaching him. And Mahabali was mesmerized by this boy. Because this boy was handsome, he was as radiant as the sun god, and he had a great personality. So when the Brahmin appeared, uh, approached Mahabali, Mahabali with his uh, clasp hands requested the Brahmin to ask him for what he wanted. And Vamana is supposed to have said, a king, great king, give me land which I can measure with my three paces of my feet. Mahabali is supposed to have laughed and said, three pieces of land? Ask for more. Please, I'm the undisputed ruler of those three worlds. I'm Mahabali, the king. Don't, don't shame me. Don't humiliate me. Ask for more. Take my kingdom. Take my wealth. Take my jewelry. Take everything that I have. But ask for more. That's when Ramana supposed to have smiled and said, Hey king, if you cannot give me what I ask for, how will I be satisfied with what you give me? Heaven and earth don't satisfy me. Mahabali relented and said yes. And was about to pour the holy water with his queen also. That's when Chukracharya, the guru of the, of the Asuras, whispered to Mahabali's ears, don't do this, he's Vishnu, how come out to come to outwit you, outwit you on the behalf of the gods? Mahabali said, if Vishnu, the god of the gods, has come to beg of me, what more do I want in my life? I mean, I'm the most blessed person in this world. Vishnu, the lord of the lords, is coming to beg of me. He poured the holy water and said, yes, Brahman boy, please measure your three paces of life. On saying this, Vamana grew up vertically till his head touched the skies and he obscured the sun and everything. With his first stride, he covered the earth and nether world. The second, he covered the heavens. The third step was still pending. The third pace. And then he looked down and asked Mahabali, Mahabali, the great king, where do I put my promised third pace of my step, my foot? Mahabali bowed down, bent his, I mean, his head and said, put your feet on my head. Before he put his foot on uh, Mahabali's on for head, Vishnu was supposed to have asked him, a great king, you knew that I was Vishnu, out to out with you, yet you were so generous in giving to me everything. Ask what you want, one boon, one request. Now there are two versions of the story as in Hinduism. I mean in Hinduism every, everything has got a different version. One version is that Mahabali was pushed into the nether worlds after he asked for the boon. The other version is that he merged with Vishnu for a generosity. But let's, that, that's not the focus of the story now. The focus of the story is that he said he could have asked for the, his kingdom, he could have asked for everything back. He did not. He said, One request, once a year, let allow me to come and visit, see the welfare and the prosperity of my subjects. Vishnu said, Yes. And Mahabali was pushed into the other world, or the other version. So once a year, he comes to Kerala and that's why Asura is venerated more than Vishnu, Lord of the Lords, in Kerala, in this particular time. And Keralaites do this pukalam and they decorate the house in all fine, they beautiful, I mean, they, they, every household looks beautiful because they're welcoming him up. And this is one festival, one secular festival, which is celebrated across all religions, across all castes, across all creed, race, because he happens to be a common king for all of us. And that's why you'll find Kerala in ecstasy now, at the moment, in those 10 days. And 2021 is the first year after COVID that is welcoming Mahabali. We, we feel very bad last year. We couldn't do justice to Mahabali because of the COVID pandemic. So this year is going to be beautiful. 
and Mahabali will be happy. And we will be blessed. So on the 10th day, Kerala Edge get up. Sorry, that's tomorrow, this year. We get up early as usual as Kerala Edge do. Dress up well in, in new clothes, of course, needless to say. And the poor column is the biggest. And every household vies with the other household to make the best poor column. And that afternoon is a sadhya, the traditional Kerala feast on a plantain leaf. And after on that day, Keralaites feel blessed because the beloved king has come to visit them. And that's a story of family, an inspiring story of being generous to even to your opponent. So thank you very much. So embrace your opponent, embrace your foe, and enjoy the turn. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.